Hi, this is Scott Arnault with this week's Security Tip. Today we're going to talk about encryption and the aftermath of National Security Agency revelations from Edward Snowden. Now, the Snowden document releases included proof that the NSA has effectively broken and or circumvented much of the encryption underlying the internet itself and many of the security products marketed as secure, including many what are called VPNs or virtual private networks, which are supposed to act like a tunnel through the internet, meaning only the people at the ends of the tunnel can read it. Now, if they've broken those, not so much. The project will, with this particular revelation, was something called Bull Run. It's uh, named after the first battle of the Civil War. What that means, I won't even ask. It included what are in effect bribes and coercion against many of these software developers to insert secret software backdoors so that the NSA could peek in without going through all the normal steps that everyone else would have to go through. Also, stealing of encryption keys via either electronic or in-person theft. And in case you're wondering, an encryption key is what's used to actually turn uh, pictures or text or data or whatever else into encrypted gibberish and then decrypt it again to turn it back out. So whoever holds these keys can scramble and descramble the data at will. So yes, yeah, stealing them is a pretty big deal. And even if the NSA does not genuinely misuse this level of access, I mean, I'm, I've heard nothing to think that they're not well-intentioned. A side effect of this is that it has effectively weakened everyone's protection against a third-party attacker with a high level of skill. Because if those backdoors exist in the first place, other parties can go after them. Now, I guess you could describe it this way. To pick any lock at once, the agency has effectively weakened everyone's locks. Now, because of this, believe it or not, encryption software that is open source, meaning that uh, basically everyone can look at it, including all software developers, may actually be more secure than the regular commercial closed source version where only the software developer has an eye on it. The reason for this is that uh, if it's been compromised, no one else is looking at it. How would we know? Now, if it's open source, there are lots of people who can look at it and it can be checked. And there are a couple in particular I would mention open source encryption protocols, as they're called, which are very well regarded. One is called TrueCrypt, and another one is called NuPG, which is G-N-U-P-G, and they're always available for review. Now, also in terms of uh, keeping your systems private, and this doesn't just mean from the NSA, this means from basically anyone, now that we know that these weaknesses exist, make sure that the software that you are using is properly set up or configured and what's called endpoint security is critical. Endpoint security means the actual thing you're using to connect to the network, your actual phone, your laptop, even your printer, whatever it is that you personally are interfacing with that has network data on it, make sure that's secure. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions relating to this or other areas of computer security, please stop by the securityadvocate.com. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic week.